Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about something that at the moment I'm not really sure how the video is going to be titled, what it's going to end up being about. I'm just going to kind of tell you guys up front what's going on right now for me to film the video and up to you guys and tell you guys what's going on in my life currently and with my body. So I know that's kind of a vague statement but You'll know more when you click the title of the video when it's actually uploaded and I know what's going on. So yeah, if you want to hear like the beginning stories, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, where to begin? This is going to be a long video, so grab a snack, popcorn, chips, pizza, cake. You know the things I can't have right now so where to begin basically I'm gonna take it back six years ago six years ago in well almost yeah November of 2013 I got really sick and I didn't know what was going on my stomach hurt really bad all the time so what I went ahead and did is I went to a GI doctor I ended up having an MRI which showed a kind of infection in my colon so I obviously was put on antibiotics at that point and then I also had a colonoscopy done at the time I was 20 22 going to be 23 a month later you can imagine at this point I'm like I've never had a colonoscopy it was the worst experience of my life I ended up throwing up on myself in my car I couldn't get the prep down it was just it was honestly awful once I had it done, he said everything looked really good in my colon, nothing of like grave concern, no polyps, nothing like that. So once all of that was done, I was like, okay, what next? I said, do I have a gluten intolerance? And he said that from the symptoms that I had been having, I probably have a gluten intolerance. But he couldn't confirm that I had celiac disease. And at the time, he said, based off of what he saw, I didn't have it. But now I know that in order to have celiac disease, they can't tell from where he was looking by a colonoscopy. You have to do it by an endoscopy because it looks at the small intestine. Well, basically for the past five and a half years, I have been gluten intolerant. Um, but I really don't pay much attention to it. Like I would kind of go in and out of being gluten free because let's be honest, it's a pain in the ass. And I love donuts and cake and all the delicious things that you can't have when you go gluten free. So I didn't really pay attention all the time, but you know, I thought it was fine. Well, in the last few weeks, I've gotten really, really bad stomach pains. And it was almost after like my whole 30 experience and I was eating gluten again, it almost seemed like my symptoms got worse. I was in more stomach pain. I didn't really know what was going on. I decided to go to Google, which sometimes isn't the best thing to do, but I just wanted to educate myself. I didn't want to diagnose myself. I wanted to educate myself on the feelings and the symptoms that I was having. Of course everything led to me possibly having celiac disease so with that being said I was like great now what like what am I supposed to do how do you test for celiac disease what's well, a blood test so this past Tuesday it is Saturday the 27th this past Tuesday I went to my doctor I wanted to get a full blood panel done and then also I wanted to add celiac disease to it Celiac disease, my thyroid, and then vitamin D. Thyroid and vitamin D is because of my mom. My mom has hypothyroidism as well as a vitamin D deficiency. She also has ulcerative colitis. Now, in my family as a whole, especially, or actually only on my mom's side, autoimmune disease were like a gold mine on my mom's side of the family. We have lupus, Crohn's, diverticulitis, ulcerative colitis, hyperthyroidism, um, hypo and hyperthyroidism, um, lupus, what else? I'm sure there's other things that we don't even know about, but somebody on every single side of my mom's side of the family is diagnosed with one of those things. So as you can imagine, I'm like, okay, well, what exactly is celiac disease? Like, I know it has to do with gluten. However, it's not a gluten allergy. It's a, it's an autoimmune disease. 
Well, they say that celiac disease, you can get it really when you have a history of autoimmune disease. Well, my family is a gold mine for autoimmune disease, like I said. So I went ahead and got the tests done. Um, and currently I'm waiting. Now, within my waiting period, my doctor told me on Tuesday, she was like, just go ahead and go strictly gluten free. So I had made the decision. I was like, I'm going to go back on Whole30. And then I was like, Samantha, you have to give up gluten for the rest of your life. Like, it has to be what's wrong with you. Because it's the only thing that causes the amount of issues that it does. Because otherwise, I'm a fairly healthy person. So on Tuesday, I went ahead and I started going gluten free. And I just want to tell you guys, the amount of pain that I have been in not even pain like that's not a good way to describe it but I'm essentially having glu I'm having gluten withdrawals and the weirdest thing is that I'm not on whole 30 and I know what that feels like because I've done it three times now I'm not on whole 30 and if you look up whole 30 you'll know what I'm talking about but I'm not on whole 30 but I feel like I'm on whole 30 I am having severe gluten withdrawals. I literally feel like I want to eat anything and everything in any site. And I don't understand like what is going on with my body. I literally feel like shit. I'm surprised that I'm able to film this. This is my third time trying, but I'm really surprised that I can film this today. But when I tell you I feel like shit, like, I just don't know how to explain it. I've been going to the gym consistently because the only thing that makes me feel better, because I just feel better about myself, but the bloating has been insane. On Tuesday and Wednesday, TMI not to be graphic, literally anything I put in my body came out of my body. And, I mean, it makes sense because finally my body was able to rid of the gluten, but because I had eaten gluten all weekend for Easter. So... My body was like basically detoxing itself from it, but I've had headaches. I have been severely fatigued. I've been dizzy. Like there was one part where I felt tingling all down my legs and I thought I was going to fall. Like I literally thought I was going to like tumble over. So the, the withdrawal symptoms have been intense. I actually messaged somebody that I know is a celiac and who has celiac disease. And I asked her, I was like, when you went off gluten did you eat everything in sight and she was like oh my god she was like it was insane because like yesterday I felt like I was a bottomless pit I also felt like shit I went to bed at 8 p.m and I woke up at 8 a.m like I slept for 12 hours it was just it's just been awful and a lot of the times it says that if you're a celiac or really severely gluten intolerant that's the symptoms that you have when you're coming off of gluten and now if I have celiac disease essentially what's going on in my body is that by it being an autoimmune disease my body sees gluten as a foreign invader and it is creating antibodies that attacks my small intestine with that being said I also with that cannot absorb foods properly so typically what happens to people that are have celiac disease they go like on a rampage of eating because finally their body is able to absorb the nutrients that it has hasn't been able to absorb for a really long time so essentially that could be what my body is doing i'm not really sure but i'm gonna take you guys along this journey this is gonna be coming like my gluten-free whatever whatever is wrong with me this is going to be my journey now i want to say because I don't, I'm supposed to get my results back next week. So once I get my results back, I'm going to update this video that I'm doing right now with the results and tell you guys about that. But this is just like the pre-results, I guess, and why I went to go get tested, why I think something's wrong with me, etc. Now, if by chance, I'm just going to give you guys this like preface, if by chance the results come back and it's like, oh no, you're fine. I'm sorry. What? No. No, I'm not fine. I am not fine. My husband even said today, there is something seriously wrong with your body. Yeah. I know. I know. I don't
don't need you to tell me. So I wanted to be kind of proactive and obviously love doctors, but sometimes they just don't want to get to the root of the cause and I really want to get to the root cause. So I actually have a, a scheduled appointment at the end of May, May 24th, with a naturopath here in my hometown. So it's expensive. My first appointment with this woman is $300. Oh, health. Hashtag health. Like, I just want to figure out what's wrong with me. But even so, like, if I am deemed, like, a celiac patient, I still have a lot of repairing to do because it can take your small intestine up three to six months or up to two years to repair itself from the damage that you, um, unintentionally, unintentionally put on it. So... With that being said, it's going to take a lot of time and I just want to make sure that like nothing else is wrong because a lot of times they say that when you have celiac disease, you can also have thyroid issues, you can become diabetic. I'm not going to bore you with all of that information. But anyhow, that is all that I have for right now. So I just want to update you with it. Stay tuned. I'll be back with the results. Hi, everyone. And welcome back. As I'm sure you can tell, my background's a little bit different this time. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin with this part of the video. Um, I'm sure in the first segment I kind of rewatched it and I looked a little bit more upbeat. Um, I'm just sitting here writing in my journal and I've honestly kind of been avoiding this video um, because I didn't really know where to start with it and um, you know, it's it's not going to end here. I'm going to kind of make this a thing on my channel, so to speak. Um, it's kind of like me starting my fitness journey all over again, in a sense. So, I got my lab results back the first time. And nothing came back wrong. I don't have celiac disease. Um, yeah, everything looks great. I, that week, felt really anxious um, when I found out that I didn't have anything wrong with me and that everything came back normal. I had a mental breakdown and I cried for probably about an hour. I was just very frustrated and very confused because I just want answers. So I went and picked up my lab results, kind of, you know, dug a little bit deeper to see if maybe the averages that they were seeing were maybe not the averages that were true. Well, they were. So, sorry if I'm, like, got a lot of so's in here or whatever. I'm just not in the best headspace, but I wanted to film this anyways. Just in the event that there's somebody out there who is feeling the way that I'm feeling, I hope that I reach out to you and tell you that you're not alone. Um... So I went to a, my holistic doctor appointment um, that was a week ago on Tuesday, so like a week and a half ago, and it was a two-hour appointment. We talked about everything. I talked about my symptoms, that I've been off birth control for two months, um, just how I've been feeling, which is like literally like I'm one minute I'm fine and the next minute I'm raging. And it's really only been bad and noticeable the last few months. So I'm not really sure what's going on. So we did another blood panel. It came back yesterday. Everything's fine. Again. She did say that she thinks that there are some things to work on. She just doesn't know what those are. So I'm not really sure where to go from here. I have my follow-up appointment with her next Tuesday on the 28th of May. So I will fill you guys in after that appointment. Um, but I mean, the thing about a holistic doctor is that she's really all about, um, there's a huge bumblebee at my window. It is literally trying to get in. It's <laughs> huge. Um, she's all about finding the issue and figuring it out. I just don't know what it is and to give you guys some background 
Um, I've just been gaining weight at an uncontrollable rate. Um, I'm not doing much different. I live an 80-20 lifestyle with my food. I'm very open about that with you guys. I work out maybe not regularly because of the way that I've been feeling with the fatigue and like slight depression and just feeling so like off for a while. Um, yeah, so I don't like I have really good times and I have really bad times and it's really weird. Um, I just don't feel like myself. Um, I haven't for a while. Um, I, I just don't know what's going on, if it's hormonal, what it is. So, I'm trying to figure that out. But I will keep you guys updated in the meantime. Um, it's just, it's really, really hard when you work so hard to be where you want to be, like health wise. And then your body completely fails you and is doing the complete opposite. Um, I eat really well. I work out. I lift weights. I run. There's literally nothing else that I could be doing. I just don't understand. And it's been really hard. I've had really down moments. Um, yeah. I just, I, I could cry st sitting here because... You know, people say that they look up to me and they want, you know, I inspire them. And like right now, I just don't even feel inspiring to myself because I'm literally trying everything I possibly can to be back to where I was. And it's not even about the number for me. Like I can see the difference in my body, not positively. I can feel it when I move. It's just the most... I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's hard. It's really hard. And it, for somebody like me who's so incredibly determined, it, it just doesn't make sense to me because it's almost like my body wants me to literally give up everything and go running three miles a day and eat 1,200 calories like I used to in order to lose this weight. And that's just not, that's just not realistic. So yeah I really don't know where we're gonna go from here I do have one final test that I'm in the process of taking and that is a cortisol test and we're doing it by um, cotton swab so I'm hoping to have those results into the lab by Monday so that by the time I go see her the following Tuesday we can have the results in um, something that I did think about that I forgot to tell her that I'm going to bring up and I'm going to see if maybe this is some reason why I'm acting this way. Um, I did take anxiety medicine, but I've never taken it consistently. Um, I've, I just don't like the idea of it, so I've never really taken it consistently. Um, but I feel like that really doesn't have anything to do with it because I was taking it, but like I said, like I never took it consistently and I had stopped taking it before and I stopped taking it again. But like bottom line, I don't want a pill to make me feel a certain way. Like I just don't. So I did have like a brief lapse where I was like, oh, well, let me just go back on it and see if it fixes everything. But that's not what I want. So I do have to bring that up to my holistic doctor when I see her. I might actually shoot her a message um, so that she has it next week. Um, but I don't think that it would be resulting in everything that's going on with me. So I don't know, maybe I'm super stressed out and my cortisol levels are through the roof and I just need to figure out how to manage my stress. It would be astonishing to me if that was it, but I guess we'll see. Um, in the meantime, um, something that I have been doing is I've been going to a church group. So I have been, I'm not going to get too much into it because I don't, I don't know how much you guys want to know, but if you want to know more about it, then definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to share more about it. But um, I'm basically um, somebody who was not raised in a Christian household at all. So um, I'm just trying to find my own path, if that makes sense. So um, I have a journal in front of me and I was currently writing in it before I decided to do this. And I'm just trying to find some peaceness. Trying, trying to find peace within the middle of all of this. Like, I just... 
I don't know if anybody can relate to how I'm feeling, but it's really freaking hard. But yeah, that's really all that I have. I know I'm not like my normal peppy, cheery self because I don't really feel like it right now. Um, but yeah, it's really difficult when you're literally trying everything, calorie counting, everything. Your body's just doing the opposite. So yeah, more to come on this. I will update you guys when I get more information. But until then, um, I'm not really sure what video I'll be filming next. Um, my videos will probably be a little bit more sparse just because of my moods lately. And now I'm feeling and uh, I took myself off of social media. So if you follow me there, I'm sorry, but I have not been on. Um, I shut it down yesterday. Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Because right now I just really need to focus on myself. Um... So, yeah, if you're coming from there, um, that's why I'm not there. Just dealing with some stuff. Um, I'm trying to find peace in the fact that there isn't anything wrong with me. Like, I don't have any thyroid issues. Um, yeah, like, I don't have any major issues. So, um, that's, that's a plus. But, but I kind of wish I did just so that I knew what was wrong with me. I know that's probably really bad and some people are like, you're crazy, but... I just really wish that I knew what was wrong with me. So, yeah, I hope that you all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.